Hello, so today we're gonna talk about the text property in a Figma. And I wanna show you the real case study how to use that thing. Let's imagine we have our main component with some default text inside and we have our components everywhere. So how it's usually working once you change text and your main component, it will impact to the other components and we'll change the text here as well. To avoid that thing, all we need to do is just apply the text property for the main component and I will show you how it works right now. So if we pick this main component and we go to this property text and we'll change the text, for example, let's take this main text, you see it will be changed. But if we do it in a right way to the property by using this text and we change the text here, for example, the subtitle, we change to this test text and you will see nothing will happen. So let me quickly show you how to do the same thing. The first thing we need to create is our main component, aka button. And once you finish with that, let's make it looks more like a button here. And let's add some round corners. Once you finish, create the component in a top header menu. The next thing we need to do, go to the properties, click the plus icon, go to the text, and here, the name is the name for the property. So, I can call it main text for now, but the value would be the text, exact the text that you want to see under this property. So, for example, button text. And let's create a property. Now, we need to assign this property to our text. So, choose the text by double click on that. Go to the text section. And then, to the next to the main text, next to the input, click to the icon and then assign main text and as you may see here now the default text for our property is the button text that's why we can see it here and if we take and create the local component you'll see that it, this will be by default as well but if we want to change this let's go and change the text for our component for example we already created a button and we want to call this button for example sign up and we're already using that button a lot in, in our different projects so what is happening usually next when you're moving back to the main components and you're changing the text it also Im impact on your buttons that you created before if you did not use this property but now we are secure and we can change the default text in any way we want and it will not impact on the components that we already created before so if you want to add more text here you want to manipulate with all you need to do just create another text then unlink it if you duplicate it as i did before go to the text just unlink it and now i can show you a quick difference you see if i'm changing the text here it also impacts here because there is no link and there is no text property but once you add that click on the main component go to the properties again text create something random like the name would be text and then subtitle for example let's do it for now and then select the second text and assign it to the subtitle or like text that we just created so we can also change the size quickly and the font weight to see the difference and now it's working in a right way so when i'm changing the text it's also changing but if i go to this component and then i change the property for the component for example forgot you you know there is a default text for forgot your password or something but if i go back to the main component and change the subtitle text to something else as you may see here it will not impact now so if you want to avoid such a small mistakes working in your figma file with components just use the text property and it will help you a lot thanks all for watching the video i hope that was useful for you all your questions as always under the video in the comment section please subscribe on my channel hit the like button and all useful links as always in description